Hello, welcome back. Um, this is my series on the review of the Canyon Ultimate CFSL Disc 8.0 Di2 Arrow. <clears throat> uh, in this video, I'll be talking about the uh, Di2 wireless uh, unit, and the code name for this is EW wu triple one wireless unit and what is this wireless unit it is this little thing over here you can't really see it but it's here now this uh transmits uh okay i don't really know whether it's wireless wi-fi bluetooth or ant but it talks to my smartphone which is a Samsung S10, and it talks to my Garmin head unit right here. All right, so uh, once you pair it up, it was quite easy to, uh, to set up. Now, what I did was um, the bike already came with an interesting uh, junction. I think it's a JC150 or something like that. There was a junction, so it's a matter of just plugging that junction out and replacing it with this wireless unit over here and then pairing up the various devices. Now, the, what's so great about this is uh, I got to show you because um, you can see it on the Garmin. Now, um, this is what I set up for my uh, main screen. I've got the speed, got the distance, I've got the heart rate, the time of day, three second power and cadence. And um, I've even set up the DI2 to advance a page by pressing the button up here. There you go. So it just shifted. Uh, the next screen shows my speed, maximum speed, average speed, maximum power, average uh, power, and uh, lap heart rate. Okay. Next screen shows me the speed. And this is where you get a lot of additional information. I don't know whether it's really useful, but good additional information. You've got your speed, you've got the gear on the front, it's now on the large ring, so it's 2 slash 2, and the gears it's on uh, 6 out of 11, and the gear co combo right now is 52, 17, 52 in the front, 17 at the back. It shows you the DI2 shift mode, which is on fully manual now. I've tried the semi-synchro and the synchro, uh, I still find manual, so when I'm fully in control, that's that's great. And shows me the DI2 battery uh, power that's left, 70%. I have not charged this bike in a month and a half, and I haven't charged it since I received the bike a month and a half ago, and it's still at 70%. And the battery for my Garmin is at 100%. I just uh, charged it a few days ago. All right, and uh, if I were to press the top shifter again. It uh, goes to the next screen, which gives me other kinds of information which I have set up, like uh, the current speed, the grade, uh, the odometer, uh, average speed, GPS signal, heading, and the temperature. Now on this side, on the, on the right side, it just goes back to the next, uh, the previous page. That's how I've set it up. There we go. So that's the previous, the previous page right there. Um, so actually these buttons, these buttons can be programmed um, to do various different things. Uh, you could program it uh, to do something with one click, a double click, or a long press to do different things. And there's a good video on how to set all this up. I think if uh, you watch Shane Miller's setup of all this. Um, I can provide a link down below. He's got a great video on all the details about this this aspect. Uh, so that's it. That's it for this uh, uh, installment. Uh, stay tuned. I've got one more video coming up. Thank you.